Hello everyone, welcome back. Drake Hawkins here, and we're back in Stonehearth, the Alpha 21 build. We're going into the Kingdom of Terra Lupus, our fantastic little uh, bunny-loving community. We uh, settled last time and went through a whole bunch of details. It was a little bit of a drawn-out start because we had a number of things that we needed to cover, like the map and the characters and all that. Uh, we generated our first seven... Uh, hearthlings and set ourselves up on an island got ourselves there we go uh, listen sound effects lovely um, so just a little note I actually started uh, trying to record this series uh, previously and I ran into a big problem my uh, Camtasia Studios has some sort of big problem with this uh, this game they don't they don't like each other they don't get along does not play well with others uh, scenario here so what happened is it would record and then it would like freeze like it would say like in this screen and it would freeze like this and then I'd go about and do things and I'd be talking about other stuff I was doing and it'd be frozen like I like you could hear the duplicate or the I'm gonna be saying that the whole season sorry you could hear the hearthlings like walking around and like chopping down trees or doing things and me talking about what was going on and it'd be totally off sync be off sync because it would just freeze for like five minutes at a time on the exact same screen so that's not what's going on here i'm just not doing anything so what have we done we are in uh terra lupus here if you look at the beautiful mountains in the background we're uh, on a little island we get a mountain on that side got a bit of a valley going on here we are surrounded by water on all sides i think very early on we're going to want to come over here and build a uh, nice pretty little bridge across this way Maybe do some quarrying over here. Uh, possibly go up this way and do some mining somewhere around here. Spend a, time, a little bit of time visiting at our little bunny rabbit. Uh, so we planted our, our bushes along this way. We chopped down some trees, set up a few, uh, few trapping spots over there, and a few uh, stockpiles here. Also, our, uh, our, our, where is she? There she is. Tyler, our master crafter. Well, okay, our level one carpenter for now. But she will become a Grandmaster Carpenter. Uh, she made us some nice beds here. And uh, yeah, so everybody got a chance to sleep. They're a uh, happy new day for everyone. I wonder if we got moods showing yet. Uh, content, content. Everybody seems to be content. Anybody, uh, character sheet. So this is their contentment. Uh, really upset, really happy. And the bar kind of moves along. It doesn't seem to be showing any movement and I think that might be because we just started but there is a difference let's see Janae here is not quite as content as Othla or others so we'll have to keep an eye on that and get to know our duplicates or uh, our hearthlings I apologize you can all spam me with angry messages about that hey there's six of them here where's number seven? Oh, look there she is hello cutie there you are Ari Hawkins going and setting traps to uh catch some new pets we'll call them pets that's not really what they end up getting used for at the beginning but oh hi checking out the a raccoon checking out the trap anyways so what are we going to do well we're going to first off get ourselves uh started with a little zoom in no get started with um a structure or two for some maybe some base uh basic like housing space get a farm going probably put the farm i think in here kind of running along by all these fancy little bushes maybe we'll build a uh, bit of a storage facility let's say right in here maybe that might be a good idea um yeah let's actually do here build a little bit of a storage facility or a bedroom maybe over here and let's get it going so for building here's what we do we go in here and we either can click place building Along here has, uh, you know, five pre-built buildings we could do and just kind of place them down. And they already have all their stuff pre-designed. They come with the game. You can uh, rotate them to give different angles. That's kind of a quaint little uh, carpenter shop there. Cute idea. Uh, cottage for two. There's different options you've got. Or you can go over to customs and we can actually design buildings and then save them to be used later both in this game and others. We're going to go into the building designer. I'll probably at some point do a tutorial if people are interested about buildings and foundations and how they how the walls work and all that jazz. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and put in um, a fairly basic, I think, uh, 
structure here. Let's go with something that's about 15 wide. 15 wide by uh, by 22 will give us 20 on the inside and the beds are three wide. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Uh, that might give us ten beds, I think. All right, then we click on the walls section, and that'll let us put an auto set of walls. We're just going to build a fairly basic uh, building. Actually, I think I want to change these up to something like this. Let's put these two walls with the wood log style, and these two walls, let's do it... Uh, Dark? No, light? Mm, something like that. A little brown? No, that's too dark. <laughs> there we go. Uh, aesthetics? No, those are terrible as well. I don't like those at all. How about that? That's alright. Alright, there we go. And let's uh, go ahead and leave the pillars as is. Then we're going to choose a door. We're going to put in a wooden door up nice and central in the front. Really super straightforward building here. We're just wanting to get uh, going on some ultra basics for them. Stuff that is not uh, not going to be any challenge for them to build and certainly not something that is going to take them long to build. Mm -hmm. A couple of these diamond -ish windows in would be nice. Let's go... Let's go like that and then like that. There we go. <clears throat> couple spaces off that side, couple spaces off that side. Do we do three and then there and three? There we go. A little bit like that. Let's let's give them a nice uh, overlook the waters type of windows. A few windows around here and there. Uh, we'll leave the mm, yeah. We'll leave the front with no windows for now. We can click up here for decorations, and that includes things like wall lamps. Wooden lanterns. Let's put in some wooden lanterns in here. And then in between these steps, that look, worked out rather nicely. Now, all of these jobs will be queued up, like we mentioned last time, as soon as we give them the order to go ahead and make these things, uh, make this building, they'll actually queue up the construction of all the necessary parts to, uh, like all the windows, all the doors, all the lights, and all the rest. Did I put a window there? Yeah, let's do that on the outside too. And then you'll see them all start buzzing around and getting things done once this is in. So that's there. We don't need any particular... Uh, maybe we could put an in sign in there. I don't know if an in sign is going to be something we want to do right yet. Uh, if you can't, don't have the ability to make it and you have something attached to the design, the building will not finish at all until everything is in. So you can't remove an item from the design after it's already built as of the last uh, version of this. So we'll see. I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue in this one. I'm not going to put in beds and stuff. We've got some beds over there already. We'll make a couple more, maybe put in some whatever else as we go. We do want to put on a roof. We can click here to put the roof on. Um, that's really ugly. Let's go with a brown. I don't think that one fit. Uh, let's drop it down just like, oh, that's nice and cozy. Let's do that. We can change the overhang. That's interesting. Let's, uh, let's give it a little bit of a front awning here. There we go. Maybe one more. How's that look? We can go do some stuff with these slabs. So let's find what color this, that slab looks like. I think it was this color, right? wasn't it? Yeah, that was that color. So uh, undo to remove that last square. We're going to come in here and we're going to build another, let's see, uh, something like this. Wow, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Uh, right from this square here. These are kind of awkward to deal with, and they do have a completely different set of rules as far as of last um, as of uh, version 20, 20, yes, as of alpha 20, there were some serious, um, 
issues still with having slabs and how they affected the the wall down wall up sort of thing build version yeah there we go see these pillars are never gonna not they're never gonna be invisible to us no matter which way we turn uh, so you gotta be careful if you're building with all pillars it can be pretty messy weirded out see that's odd that one has disappeared but the other hasn't and it should have anyways so this is the uh, building vision lets you see the whole building or partials uh, if you want to see what's going on inside and so on, you've seen those things before. Slice lets you actually only see specific verticals of the um, altitude sort of things. It's kind of like a Minecraft and it cuts different slices. So we'll it will turn that off. X-ray lets you see anything that is terraformed. Anything that you've dug into, it's not there. We have nothing. So leave, uh, leave X-ray off. So, Alright, so I think that's it for this building. We're not going to do much more than that. It's a little... Uh, little cottage or little dormitory sort of a thing so we can click finish editing and then we have a few options here well it tells us all the materials needed uh, why does it not say uh, what this building please what what building were we editing building number four building number one okay that's strange what building is number one and number one? Okay. Uh, what's going on here, Focals? Where is building number three? If that building number four. That's building number two. Anybody see a building number three around? Did I... Oops, somewhere? I don't know what's building number three. Do, do, do. These seem to all be part of building number one. Ooh, you can move those around now. That's a new thing. Or at least it's new to me. Hmm. Well, I don't know where building number three went to, but apparently these buildings are all different. Why is that not attached to this building? Hmm. Foundations that match. Maybe do that. Uh, no, undo that. Oh, look at that. Uh, okay, so that's odd. That messed that up a little bit. We remove that and it takes out that piece. Okay, so we're going to add a foundation piece that matches those piles. We'll put it right in here. Like that, so it becomes part of the foundation. And we'll put a pillar on that also matches that. I find this a little easier if you're zoomed in to mess with these slab placements. Does that give it, does that make it a different building? Is this still, ugh, that is really weird. Still a little finicky, people. Yes, it is alpha 21, but it is definitely still alpha in regards to the actual building of buildings, which is kind of the whole point of building. All right, all right. We'll get our we'll get our hearthlings doing stuff here shortly, and let's build a little. No, we'll build the road separately. So that's good, and this should all be building number one. And we go finish and editing. Okay, now it's got the wooden lanterns. It takes 22 logs, 16 wooden wall lanterns, one wooden door, and 10 diamond-shaped window frames. We can save this to. Uh, I don't know. Let's save it to early dorm. Early dorm, we'll call it. Now, we click build. We hit start, and they will now, that's now totally queued up. We could pause it if we want. Unselect it, and it's gone. Because our little uh, hearthlings are now going to go hog wild and... Put this building into action. They're going to dig out the foundation, put in the parts, and lots is going to go on there pretty quickly. So, if you look, we now have our carpenter over here, Tyla, now has a lot of work to do. So let's go to the workshop. She just got a queue up of a wooden door and the windows and the, uh, what are they called? The lanterns. All of that was queued up because we put it into a building menu. That's in your settings options. Okay, we don't have enough food or enough net worth to get our first person to join us, but that's all right. We've been dawdling. 
<laughs> yes, wonderful dawdling. Loves dawdling. Um, I wonder how many beds we're going to fit in there. Eight, maybe ten? Let's leave, leave things rolling and get that figured out as we go. Uh, get back to work on fast mode, folks. Uh, we're going to harvest these things pretty aggressively in the early stage. Then eventually we'll just simply won't be harvesting them at all. Speaking of harvesting, let's see if she's able to give us a... Oh, there we go. They grab a pile of wood and they go and do it. Let's see if she's able to give us uh, the new tools yet. No, you need to be level 2 for the farmer's so, hoe, but you can get a, a weaver's spindle. That's a thing. Well, I guess we can make one of those. Uh, I want to maintain in the inventory one sword at all times. Tyla Hawkins is a cheap carpenter level 2! Yay! Good job, Tyla! You can make a hoe and an herbalist staff we already have. Mason's hammer and chisel. Wonderful! You can actually now also make the fancy, comfy versions of beds, but we don't have the resource to make the cloth yet. So we'll also make, tell her to maintain a shield and she's maintaining a sword. You see the difference here? This is build one, this is equals one. Make sure it always equals one or greater. And look at them go on the walls. Fantastic, folks. Good job, you little heartlings. You're doing so well. Buildy, build, build. Okay, so we want to harvest out this chunk there, because we're eventually gonna, not eventually, very soon, gonna wanna get across the water there. And let's go ahead and uh, take out this stuff as well. And keep that, get that going there. <laughs> there we go, clear that up. And we can have a nice little look across the water and see what we may want to do. There are some herbs over here we could get for medicinal purposes. A little bit of rocks, a ton of trees, probably a place we can do some digging for some quarrying. I love how they do this scaffolding. So they come along and they just like, plink, 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 we need to get up higher. Let's build in the ladder, and then we're gonna extend the scaffolding up there. Now, they don't actually use, they used to, but they don't actually use lumber for that. They just have to build and remove the objects as they get done different stages of work. They've really done a great uh, deal of work since early, uh, the earlier alphas on determining what the hearthlings are actually going to do and in what order. So they have like kind of priorities. You see this is now queued up with this lamp and those lamps. But they haven't queued the outside lamps. That's because they're still working on the scaffolding it seems. Uh, second row of scaffolding? Ah yes, he was probably setting up to do the roof now. They moved, the, they reduced the scaffolding inside there and now they're extending the second layer of scaffolding up so they can get going. There we go. R work has begun on the... Who's that? Who that? Who that? We got to get to recognize. That's Janea. Good job, Janea. Working away like cray cray. Oh, we got our little front pillar going. Action going on there. That's wonderful. Tyla's still uh, banging away on all the parts here. What do we got? Lamps and lamps and more lamps everywhere. So if you look at the information, our net worth was, what was it, 60 or 70 or something like that at the beginning of, or at the yeah beginning of the day when it's like, hey, what's your, uh, you know, what's your net worth? Oh, sorry, it's not high enough. It is cranked through the roof, 506 now. Every time they add a piece to a building, it jumps substantially. Somebody's bunny rabbit is hanging out on the bed. Befriended by Drake Hawkins. That's great. What's this one? Small forest creature. Okay, no, nobody's friend. A simple merchant has arrived with wares to sell. Excellent. Well, we don't really need to buy any of these wares, but... Yeah, we only have 20 gold. Uh, that would buy us one bolt of cloth. We could click this tab down here and opt to sell some things that we have. But we really don't have anything that's much worth. So I think we're gonna say goodbye to uh, Havad and let him go about his business. We'll see you again, I'm sure, sir. Ooh, those, that's interesting. They did a good job on improving that. That used to be a little bit of a uh, sticking point when they had ladders that, oh, really? You guys are gonna like 
You can do that. You can leave the log up there. That'll drive me bonkers. All right, how are we doing on the interior? We got a lot, uh, a lot of these uh, lights queued up, but not too many lights. In a couple of them, a couple of them. All right, doing good. Not too long, and we should have that set now. Five hundred eighty-seven. I think that's enough for our for our food need or our money needs for the next time. Let's uh, see if we can get Tyler to maybe bump up the priority on. Oh no, she's working on it right now. On the oh, she was working on it, and she's decided it's bedtime. She'll finish uh, Drake's hoe tomorrow. <laughs> There's our weaver for Othala Nimble Thread. Oh hi, you running around down there for a reason? Uh oh, well that's not good. I don't know if they're gonna actually if they actually drowned or not, but we can build ladders for them. So they got down there because they had a constructed like scaffold style ladder. But I think for now we're gonna go ahead and plop one of these right in here. That might be enough out of the way, is it? Yeah, that's probably we'll probably oh no, we'll probably put the bridge right there actually. Let's change that. Let's go over here. That's good. Uh, cancel that. Alright, somebody put in that ladder. There she goes. Janae's gonna swim over and maybe? No. Nope. Somebody put in that ladder. Yep, she's gonna put it in. There you go. Doop -dee -doop 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 -dee -doop -doop -doop. A little more difficult pathfinding when they've got uh, ladders to deal with and whatnot. Oh, who's that? That's Othla. He's gonna go over and pick up that uh, window that was oddly dropped in the middle of the uh, water there. Oh, we got the house lit. Look at that. We got the dorm starting to be lit nicely. There you go. All the windows, I think, are in now. The door is in. Excellent. We just have a few lights to put on and a few bits of uh, scaffolding to remove. There he comes with a new light. Excellent. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So, uh, did you finish your the hoe? Excellent. You did so. Uh, let's oh, pause the time. Let's find Drake. You are a green thumb and cultist or rabbiteer. Uh, change job. You're going to become a farmer. Farmer Drake. Good job, Drake. Pat myself on the back for that one. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, where is he? That's it. Drop what you're doing and get to work. Excellent. Oh, he puts on the funky hat, too. Look at I want a hat like that. That That's totally what I look like when I'm, far, when I'm gardening. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to build new zones, and that's going to be the farm zone. Now, some people do these, just one tile wide and pick a crop. I don't like it. I think it's very um, aesthetic to build them in nicer little boxes or squares or whatevers. But you do want to have odd numbers. Because if I do six, it's going to do every other row is going to be a row of crops. So one of the ends is going to be five wide is going to be just as much cropland as six wide is. So we'll go with uh, seven by seven, I think, here. And then we'll put another seven by seven here. We'll do like square foot gardening. That's what we'll do. Uh, da, 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 da. Some of these. There we go. That'll do for now. So this one, let's make it turnips. Let's make this carrots. And let's make this pumpkins. And let him garden away on those. Look at him go. Off he goes to his new job. <laughs> Now, he's going to hoe each an ind each independent square there. He's going to make a nice little r ridge, and then he'll make a gap and another ridge. So there'll be plants here every second one. So with the 7x7, seven seven, you get four rows of seven uh, plants on, you know, in that batch, in that square. So Each of those patches can be used as one particular plant, and he will gain his skill as he goes. Let's take a look at his skills and stats and whatnot. How's he doing? All things considered, I'm doing okay, he says. Uh, meal was raw. Well, we're aware of that. Lack of safety. No city guard. Well, everybody's probably getting that. We could do that. Slept outside. Slept in a shared bed. Uh, settling in bonus and ate a tasty meal bonus. All right. 
Yeah, this hardling is progressing to the next level. This hardling's progress to the next level. Uh, currently level one? No, he's on his way to level one. So what does that show? Where does it show his traits, attributes? <laughs> so all sorts of things. Courage, willpower, compassion, muscle speed, and all that. Job ability. He is currently level one. Backpack, what they're carrying, equipment. All right, cool. Daily update. Not enough food, but we do have the net resources for another one. Well, that'll be fine. We'll... Uh, we should have probably went ahead and harvested some of this lovely berryage. And that probably would have done gotten us what we needed, but that's okay for now. Looks like this building is complete. If we click on the building itself... Well, here we go. Uh, no, go into building mode. Or go out of... There we go. No, go into building mode and click on the building. There we go. Congratulations, this building is complete. In reality, we do want to change a few things. One, that's going to drive me nuts if we don't get that off there. So we'll build the ladder up the wall there. We'll leave a space here for maybe the inn. I don't know, or we could go in and design and put in a window. I kind of like the idea of putting in a... Uh, whoa, 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 we're glitching out a little here, crazies. Uh, door and window. You know, I wonder if we can just make that window. Can we tell her to make a window and then just place it? Let's see if that works. Boop, 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 boop wide window there you go make me one of them all right now our beds need to be put in the room for one let's try that place the beds um, less than and greater than the period in the comma to rotate we can plop that one in there and click the move and rotate that one into there and do the same here see if, see if we can get enough in here to go 10 of them that would be nice it, it is totally a compacted little not very spacious space but it should get them indoors at least you noticed before when we were looking at the uh, traits or stats or whatever their their condition how they're feeling they uh i think it was drake was had a negative to his mood because he was uh, uh had slept outdoors so getting them indoors should be a boon to all of their moods there's another one also called shared um bed so i can actually click here and we can assign an owner of this bed how are we doing on time here we're getting close to the end of our time for this video so let's assign beds to all of these fine hearthlings Othla, elijah uh, drake okay where's everybody um hello why are we standing around not doing anything um guys guys I said move these. Totally said to move these. Yep. Gave you an order to move those. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's not happening. <clears throat> Alright, well, we're going to need three more beds anyways, so let's go ahead to the carpenter's workshop and make three more beds. One, two, three. Go ahead and make those. Alright. Um, we have some crops going in excellent so drake's got our crops built we got our first uh dorm built so everybody should once they figure out how to move the beds in uh have themselves a nice spot to sleep that just seems weird that they can't put those beds oh there you go somebody decided to go ahead and do it oh no what um Okay. Oh, maybe somebody was using them at the time and they're just weirded out now. I don't know. Invaders approaching. Da, da, da. And we are going to cliffhanger on you completely because I'm not going to get into that on this episode. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give us a thumbs up if you like what's going on so far and you like the game. Let me know if you've had a chance to play it and what you found about it and what you like about it in the comments below. And subscribe if you want to watch the whole series as it rolls out. Thank you so much, and as always, I will see you in game.